Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have an example where we try to apply the method of undetermined coefficients where the function on the right side, g of t, is now a product of different functions. We have t cubed, e to the 2t, and the cosine of 5t all multiplied together. So how do we find the particular solution to this so that we can find the total solution or the general solution of the differential equation? Well, first, what we're going to do, just as always, we're going to find the homogeneous solution first. So we're going to write this as a homogeneous equation, set it equal to zero on the right side. So the homogeneous equation will look as follows. And then, of course, we use the characteristic equation to try to find the roots. So we write r squared minus 3r minus 4 equals zero. And hopefully we can factor that. Let's see. We have an r, an r, we have a, a minus 4 and a plus 1. That will work. So that means that the two roots are as follows. We have r1 equals a positive 4 and r2 equals a negative 1, which means that the homogeneous solution, y sub h, is going to be equal to c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the minus t. So that's the homogeneous part of the solution. Now we need to find the particular solution. Well, we know that the form of the particular solution will look as follows. So y of p is going to be something, and I, I don't write an equal sign here because I need to put the coefficients in later, but I, I do know that I'm going to need a polynomial. So that's going to be t cubed plus t squared plus t to the first power plus some constant. Let's call it some c for now. And we're going to multiply that times e to the t, and then we're going to multiply that times the cosine of 5t plus the sine of 5t. So we know that the solution, the particular solution, is going to look something like that, but we need to have all the coefficients. So when you notice that here there are four terms in here, and there are two terms in there, a single term there, when we multiply everything out, we're going to get eight separate terms, which means we're going to need eight separate coefficients. So the way to lay that out, there's different ways. You can say that y particular is going to be equal to, and you can write this as a t cubed plus b t squared plus c t plus d. So we attach a coefficient to each of the terms over here. We're multiplying this times e to the t, and only times one of these terms. Let's call it cosine of 5t. And then we have to do it again. We're going to take all these again with a different set of coefficients because now we're going to have to multiply times the sine of 5t. So this becomes, let's see, a, b, c, d, e, t cubed, plus f, t squared, plus g, t, plus h times e of t, e to the t power, and this would be the sine of 5t. So that means when we multiply all this out, we're going to get eight separate terms with eight separate coefficients, and then we have to determine each of those coefficients. Of course, we're going to do that by then realizing we're going to set up eight separate differential equations, each with its own particular solution, then we add them all together, and then we have the total solution. Now, we're not going to do that here. I just wanted to show you how to set that up. Another way to do that would be to go ahead and multiply everything out. So we have another way of approaching this. We can say that the particular solution is going to be equal to the product of this times this times this. So it would be t cubed e to the t power times the cosine of 5t, and of course we need a coefficient in front of that, a times that, plus b times, now we take the second term here, t squared e to the t times the cosine of 5t, plus c times t times e to the t times the cosine of 5t, plus d, times e to the t times a cosine of 5t. And then we go ahead and multiply it again. So that would be plus e to the t cubed 
e to the t times the sine of 5t plus f t squared e to the t times the, oop, not the cosine, but the sine of 5t plus g times t times e to the t times the sine of 5t, and finally plus h e to the t sine of 5t. All right, you can see that would be an enormous amount of work, and I would need probably about five or six videos to finish that up, but at least it shows you that when you have a situation like this, and you want to use the method of undetermined coefficients, you will have to set up a coefficient for each of the separate terms when you multiply every term together of the possible types of answers you can get. And in each case, you're going to then have to determine the undetermined coefficient. So at least it gives you a start on a problem like this. I would hate to have to do one of those, but it's going to take an enormous amount of work, but at least you know that it's possible and that's how it's done.